an angle that shares the same sine value of an angle that measures 5 pi over 4 radians is located where? In which quadrant or on what axis? So as I do this problem, keep in the back of your mind that on the unit circle, a uh, sine is a y value. And cosine is an x value, although that won't really come up in this particular problem. It's still good to know. So sine is a y value. Remember that. But first, we need to start by figuring out in what quadrant this angle 5 pi over 4 is. So I need you to remember that uh, if I go, all right, so here's the center of the circle. If I were to rotate uh, from this initial side, and I rotate it all the way around to this uh, terminal side, how many degrees would I have gone? Well, that's 180 degrees, but in radians, this is called pi. So I need you to understand that in this position, um, this will be pi radians. So a semicircle is pi radians. Same thing as 180 degrees, but we're going to stick with radians. So uh, here we have 5 pi over 4. I really want to focus on this portion right here, pi over 4. It means we have 5 of these. So pi over 4, that's literally pi divided by 4. So let's take this semicircle and divide it up into four pieces. So imagine if I put a line here. So, so far this is pi over 2. Now if I cut each of these in half again, all right, then each one of these little pi pieces is 1 pi over 4. So in other words, uh, right here I have simply pi over 4, or in other words, 1 pi over 4. Right here at the top I have 2 pi over 4. All right, which would reduce to pi over 2, but I'm going to call it 2 pi over 4 for right now. In this next spot, I would have 3 pi over 4. And then right here at pi, I have 4 pi over 4. And you can see that the 4s cancel out, and that's why it's just pi. And right here, I will have 5 pi over 4. So 5 pi over 4 um, is the terminal side of this angle in standard position that goes like this. All right, so an angle that has the same value, uh, the same sine value as this angle, um, will it be positive or negative? Well, in this quadrant, the sine function, uh, well, and any y value is negative y values are negative in this quadrant. So uh, the sine of 5 pi over 4 is negative. Uh, it turns out to be negative radical 2 over 2, by the way. Uh, and we could say that the reference angle right here is pi over 4, right? Every one of these angles is pi over 4. Uh, so the reference angle is definitely pi over 4. Um, so if the third quadrant is an option, I will pick it. But the third quadrant is not one of the choices, so we have to pick something else. Well, we can forget about the first quadrant and the second quadrant uh, because it has to be negative, all right? That's why I'm really emphasizing that the sine of 5 pi over 4 is negative because sine is a y value, and y values are negative in this quadrant. So um, you can forget about the first and the second quadrant because y values are positive up there. All right, so the only options are quadrant 4 and along the x-axis. So we know the answer is going to be quadrant 4. 
um, because this is the other place that also has a reference angle of pi over 4. So it's going to have the same value, right? It's the same reference angle. So it's still going to be a radical 2 over 2. And it'll still be negative because um, sine is negative in the fourth quadrant. Um, by the way, if, if it was on the x-axis, guess what? Okay, let's see if I can do this or not. On the x-axis, uh, this point right here on the x-axis is the point 1, 0. I better erase this. Uh, this point over here on the x-axis, the other point on the x-axis, is negative 1, 0. Remember, once again, I told you that sine is a y value. So, if it was on the x-axis, these are the two options that we have for y values. y value of 0, y value of 0. So if it was along the x-axis, the, uh, the sine would equal 0. And uh, the sine of 5 pi over 4 does not equal 0. And it, so it has to be the same value as 5 pi over 4. It has to be negative radical 2 over 2. So the x-axis would not work. So it definitely will be quadrant 4.